Oh, they fell! Yeah. <laughs> so, if you didn't think that magic existed, you just got through. <laughs> Man, like a pen handling. Hello, hello, hello. Moyo Adagun, and I'm here with the magician Ben Hanlon. Hello, hello. How did you get into magic? So I started in magic when I was at school. I'd sit. How old are you? I was 13, 14, something cool. like that. I'd sit in the back of the classroom and I would just mess about doing tricks. And then I eventually tried to get a proper job, and I did that, and then decided to sack all that off. What, what was the job? It was a trainee chartered surveyor, which um, is as exciting as it sounds. Not very. Uh, so I basically quit that, and then started street performing and busking and stuff like that. And then I made YouTube videos, and people saw that, and I eventually made my own TV show on ITV2. When did you busk? Uh, in Stratford upon Avon, back in Birmingham. How does magic inspire you? It's interesting, actually. I guess the whole point of magic is to do something that doesn't seem like it can be done. That's your starting point. Yeah. So that's quite a cool mind. If you go, right, I'm going to try and achieve this that doesn't seem like it can be done. If you apply that mindset to other things, it makes you quite optimistic and open-minded that other things that don't seem like they can be done mm -hmm. could be done. So it kind of makes you quite positive in life, you know? It's like anything is kind of achievable. Oh, so you theory. consider yourself like a positive person? Yeah, I'd say so. Oh. Would you not agree? Would you think I was quite hey, negative? Man, I don't know your energy. Maybe we should go out one time and we'll see if you can okay. actually... Okay, yeah. yeah, for the purpose but of the camera. But you're married, yeah, you don't sure. want to come out with me. It's not a good back. Like, it's just, this wouldn't be good. Like, we can't do that. The thing about magic that interests me the most is like, you don't see that, you don't see people go, oh yeah, I want to be a magician from a young age. Do you, I think, is it something that you're kind of pushed forward into? It's something that you just have a niche for. Well, yeah, you know, when you're a kid, you want to be a footballer, a musician, a, an actor, a doctor, whatever it is. Yeah. Or a rapper. Or a rapper. Obviously, I tried rapping, that didn't work Why out. Why wouldn't you? Or not. Uh, yeah, and basically what happens is I was like the geeky kid at school. I couldn't play football, couldn't play an instrument. And then I found magic and I was like, oh, okay, this, this fits, I can do that. Mm. But if I was good at football and stuff like that, or I probably wouldn't have wanted to be a magician. For, for, you actually would say that. You don't think you have a passion, like a unique passion for magic? Well, I do now, but it's one of them that if I was, I tried the stuff that the cooler kids were trying first, and if I could have done that, I would have probably wanted to do that. Yeah, you know? if you're good at it. Yeah, yeah. You know football, so it's just cause by default, really. I mean, and how were you, like, your parents or your siblings? How did they react to it? Because I know if I told my parents I was going to do magic, I probably wouldn't live in this country anymore. <laughs> and it wouldn't be, wouldn't be lit. No, they were cool. They were just like, look, whatever you do, as long as you give it 100%. <laughs> so supportive. Yeah. Um, and they were like, yeah, but get out there and earn some money. So it was yeah. fun. They could see I was trying. I wasn't just lying in bed and stuff. So as long as I was doing that, they were cool. Is this good shuffling? Nope. Is that the first thing they learned in like magic school? How was like the money struggles? Because I think with this like day and age generation, people only see the success. So they only see you on their sc screens when you're like at a point of success. Yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, the good thing about magic is you don't need to spend a load of money to get into it. You don't mm. need to buy like a big expensive drum kit or anything like that. It was like a pack of cards and my time, so it didn't cost me much to have, like, have a go at it. But what was cool about my parents is I was living, a, living in a flat with some friends, I decided to go home and they said, look, come home for a few months, we'll look after your rent mm. and you stay at home. And then that gave me just enough of a comfort zone so that I could go out and street perform and then the little cash that I earned street performing, I could keep and then reinvest and kind of, you know, do bigger and bigger gigs and stuff like that. You say you're comfortable, it must have been daunting, like, busking and doing street performing, like, that, that stuff to me just is like, Yeah, insane. because I guess when a musician busks, they're not really expecting anyone to interact with them, they just walk past, mm -hmm. and maybe they'll stop, maybe they'll give some money. With a magician, you, you have to get attention. Yeah, you can't just do a trick to no one. So occasionally I would get my friends to come down and stand there and be like, oh my God, this is amazing, and then as a result, people would come up then they'd go and take a coffee break yeah. and then i'd give them a bit of cash and then they'd come back half an hour later and do the same thing so a little, little like inside tip there <laughs> right take one it doesn't matter if i see it. you can turn it over it doesn't matter if i see it which one did you go for um two of diamonds right yeah. two of diamonds you might want to get a little shot of that but cool all right take that so it's two of diamonds and it's the only two of diamonds in the deck yeah there's no other two of diamonds mm -hmm. all right here's what we do I'm going to take your card, do this, um, I think you guys can see it, I need to take the card, give it a few cuts like so. Right, now your two of diamonds is about in the middle of the deck, cool. and it'll stay in the middle until we do this. <laughs> right, I'll do it one more time, look, look. it goes, goes off the top, 
Do me a favor. Okay. Push it in. Make sure it goes in. Okay. space of, you know what, I need to like, think of some stuff, or is it just life that just you get inspired by? Um, it depends what I'm working on, but whatever I'm working on, I tend to find ideas for that thing. So if I'm working on a TV show, everything, when I'm out and about, those are the, I'm looking for ideas for the TV show. Mm. When I'm working on a live show, I'm looking for ideas for a live show. But I often look at things that I think are cool and go, well, what's the magic version of that? Do you have like friends in the magic game? Or I do. Like, the magic I do. do you have rivals? Do I have rivals? No. Because if you want to do this Maybe. track, I know a guy that can give you a slamming beat. Like, really? Mate. Oh, okay. Mate. So I need, I need to... Level here. Right, I need yeah. to... Just in case anyone tries it with you. Okay. So... All right. Do you have any rivals in the... No. Oh. So it's quite a, like a supportive community. Yeah, supportive-ish. I try and just keep myself to myself. Yeah. I have a few guys that are my friends that we sit and talk to, but you're kind of just left on your own to just do what you want. I think you mentioned Tricked. Yep. Tricked was a show that you done. So how does a guy from Birmingham, no, this to Birmingham, get in front of I, ITV, <laughs> ITV producers and pitch a show and it get broadcast? Through YouTube. So they saw the YouTube show. They said, okay, is this, is this a show? And they decided it wasn't. They said, you know what? This thing you're doing on YouTube isn't good enough or going to work for an hour-long TV show. But we like you and the, the stuff at the core of it. Can you give us something that would be good for TV? And we went back and forth until we came up with this. A lot of people would say, you know what, I've got a TV show on mm -hmm. ITV, mm -hmm. one of the biggest uh, TV channels on British TV. Yeah. I'm cool. Like, you've done that before 30. You're chilling. Yeah, no, because, you know, um, that's, that's the starting point. That, that's the starting point. And then you need to use that platform to go on somewhere else. So this year, I'm focusing more on live stuff. So... You know, I've used the stuff we've done on Tricked. Hopefully people will now come and see me in a theatre and I can kind of change it up and do that stuff now. So that would just... Because otherwise it would get a bit boring just doing the same thing year after yeah, year. Yeah. What do you have coming up this year? Um, so Work and Progress States in London. So that's like the, my first ever place where you can come and buy tickets, see me for an hour on stage. Um, so they actually start this Thursday and then they're every month between now and basically summer. And the goal is to get all that material that I do in those shows and put that into a one hour Edinburgh show in August. And then at the end of that, I'll hopefully release, maybe announce my first full UK tour towards the end of the year. So it's gonna be pretty exciting. I see you got a wedding band on you. So yep, married. So it's like Did you a, say kinder? Yeah, I mean, I've never <laughs> seen one like that. No, it's people go ask it is it's a genuine wedding ring. It's not yeah. like a fake one I've just bought. I wouldn't say that. It just look makes you look like a rapper in the 90s. I'll take that. Yeah, I'll take it. As so well, they were some of the most fashionable people, I'll the 90s it. rappers. Do you know Biggie? Uh, I think he, I've heard of his he's stuff. He's good, man. Have you yeah. had any like major backlash from any of the things that you've done? I'm going to have to say no. <laughs> Plead the fifth. I'm going to say no. <laughs> <laughs> Smart move. One of the first things I ever did on TV was the boy band Blue. I made them think one of their friends had died by going over a cliff in a caravan. And it's very funny to watch. Yeah, I watched it actually. I watched it yesterday. That was a bit controversial. People thought that was too far. But it was quite funny. Check it out for yourself. And let us know. Yeah. Right, so I'm going to do something with this deck of cards and you. But people are going to think that we've just set this up. So honestly, right, have I set this up with you? No, but Okay, I mean, he could have just been told to say that but I think you can tell by his face he's being honest right I really want this to be dead with. all right dead simple deck of cards is gonna go just here right all I want you to do is to think of one card the ace of spades very obvious all right so yeah. change your mind okay, okay I've got my card. you got your card yeah sure yeah queen of hearts also very obvious okay. you're not thinking of that are you okay all right look at me think of the card over and over again in your head and be honest look at me seven of hearts no pardon no that's not right? No. Uh, well, what, what was it? The three of hearts. The three of hearts. The three of hearts? Yeah. And I didn't tell you that? You didn't tell me that. <laughs> okay, see, the thing is, in that deck of cards, <laughs> before I met you, yeah. <laughs> I turned over one card. <laughs> no, I'm already laughing, like, it's gonna... Look, hope I'll you do it as slow as I can, look, I'll do it as slow as I can. Do you see how there is literally one card? <laughs> in the entire deck. <laughs> I hope you fell. <laughs> I hope you fell. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. 
Yeah. <laughs> so, you if you didn't think that magic existed, you just got proof. <laughs> Simple. Man like a pen handling. There we go. Right, do you want to know how it was done? No. I don't want to get killed by the magic Illuminati. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> how can people follow you, Ben Hanlin? Good question. Uh, basically, Twitter, Snapchat, Facebook, it's all Ben Hanlin. YouTube, Ben Hanlin. Uh, and come and follow me. And I do magical things online, especially on Instagram. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> so ask the questions, I'm not gonna get killed. Look, I love my mum. Thank you.